What is up guys? Left First here, and today I'm going to be ranking every single Chosy Beyblade based on their Chosy ability. Now of course, because of the style of this video, it's going to be heavily opinion based, meaning all uh, the ranking is based on my opinion. You guys are all subject to your own opinion. For example, I might think that a certain Beyblade has an amazing ability, and you might think that Beyblade's trash. Or maybe I think your favorite Beyblade has a horrible ability, and you're going to write in the comment section like a really mean comment being like, oh my gosh. Guys, Fafner has the best ability ever. You're so stupid. Uh, I'm unsubscribing, grr, and you can write that. I, I don't care. I read the comments, and whenever I read comments like that, it hurts my feelings, but I understand. Anyway, uh, before I go on a tangent again, uh, let's just start this ranking. In last place, we have a tie. A six-way tie for last place, actually, which is really sad. Those Beyblades being Beyblades, with the only ability being that they have metal on them. Now, of course, this is ranking the Chosy Beyblades. All Chosy Beyblades at least have some form of metal on them. These Beyblades in last place, uh, their only ability or their only gimmick is that they have metal. And these Beyblades being Winning Valkyrie, uh, Z Achilles, Bloody Longinus, Shadow Amaterios, Emperor Fornius, and finally, Dead Hades. Now, uh, the thing that all these have in common, like I said before, their only ability is that they have metal, and that's like, it was cool at first, because like, metal, like, for instance, most of these Beyblades were released when Chosy first came out, and when Chosy first came out, we actually didn't know if Beyblades were actually gonna have abilities. The main thing about the God series was that every single Beyblade had an ability. The main thing about the Chosy series was that every Beyblade had metal on them. So, uh, yeah, because these Beyblades don't have any ability, at all, they're gonna be in last place, which is really sad. Although I will say that the Beyblade I think that has the coolest ability out of all of them is gonna have to be Dead Hades because it has the most metal out of all of them, so therefore it does like the metal ability justice, if that makes sense. It's like it's like the best of these Beyblades. Next up on this list, we have Air Knight. Now, Air Knight's ability is that it's just like Maximum Garuda. It's basically, I don't know why Takeratomi did this. They released Maximum Garuda with metal and they just called it a different name. Like, they called it Air Knight. This is basically the blue banana. And uh, just like Maximum Garuda, the only ability it has is that it's bigger and it's kind of shaped like a fan. It's supposed to, like, fly in the air somewhat, but that doesn't really work in real life. Although in the anime, it is really cool. Its ability in the anime is really cool, but in real life, it it's its ability is just not that great. Being bigger than most Beyblades, I guess that's a plus, but the fan ability doesn't really work. So that's why it's gonna rank so low on this list. Also, uh, if the Beyblade has any, um, disc or driver abilities, I will mention it, but for the most part, this list is gonna be mostly on layer abilities. Alright, and yeah, this Beyblade doesn't really have any, uh, disc or driver abilities. I mean, the disc ability, just like the layer, it's kind of like a fan, so, uh, it's supposed to give it, like, more air resistance or something, I don't know. Anyway, moving on to the next slot, in the next slot, we have... Uh, Orb Aegis. Now, Orb Aegis, again, is this low on this list just because its ability is, like, so minute. So imagine, Orb Aegis is basically a watered-down version of Zillion Zeus. Zillion Zeus had free-spinning balls in its lair, except the free-spinning balls can move around. Orb Aegis has free-spinning balls in its lair, except the free-spinning balls don't move around. They're literally just right here, and they kind of spin if they come into contact. Honestly, its ability really does nothing. Its ability is horrible. And, yeah, although uh, the layer ability is not that great. The driver ability is really cool. I really do like the driver ability, but because this list is mostly based on layers, it's gonna rank pretty low. But I will describe what the driver ability is because the driver ability is amazing. The quest driver is a really cool driver. It has a suction cup on it, so like suction to the stadium, and it's free spinning. So basically, what happens is the bottom part of the driver doesn't move, but the top part moves. And it's like really cool in the stadium. If you guys haven't seen, uh, battle videos or like test battle videos with orb ages you guys got to check it out because it's an amazing beyblade like it performs so differently than other beyblades it's really cool okay so next on our list we're going to have crash Ragnarok. Now, Crash Ragnarok, basically, its ability is Metal Wings, and that sounds kind of cool. Metal Wings sounds really cool, but in actuality, they're not really that cool. This is basically the whole gimmick. The whole gimmick is that there's, like, free, not free spinning, but there's wings that can move inside the layer, and apparently when you spin it, the wings are supposed to go outwards, and in the anime, it creates this giant, like, typhoon tornado thing, and it, like, destroys all Beyblades in its path, but in real life, all it really does is this. Like, it's, it's 
kinda, it's really lame. It's basically the same ability as Blaze Ragnarok, the god version of Ragnarok, except they're made out of metal, and Blaze Ragnarok's wings weren't really that cool either. So, uh, yeah, that's why this Beyblade is gonna rank so low, just because it's so minute. Like, this change, it really does nothing to the Beyblade. I feel like if the Beyblade was just, like, locked into this mode, it would be a lot better than this, like, weird metal wing thing, but it is kinda cool to fidget around with. It's like, it's like a fidget toy. Anyway, so yeah, as for the disc and driver, they don't really have, um, any abilities. Uh, I mean, the driver, it's metal, which is, like, chosy, so I guess that's an ability, and the frame has, like, blades that, like, sometimes the blades are, like, down there, and sometimes the blades are, like, up there. It's a cool frame, but, like, it's, it's not that great. Anyway, moving on to the next slot, we have Vice Leopard, and I feel like from this point on, like, all these abilities, I would say, are really lame, but I feel like from this point on, all the chosy abilities are really solid and really cool. So, yeah, Vice Leopard's chosy ability is basically that it chomps on other Beyblades. It has kind of this rubber thing where it goes upwards and it chomps down. Now, this is really cool to play with, and in the anime, it's, like, really cool because it bites the Beyblades and it throws them, but in real life, it doesn't really function that well. I can't even tell if it works in the stadium because, like, you can't really tell if the Beyblade... The Beyblade obviously doesn't throw Beyblades like in the anime. I don't even think it chomps Beyblades. So, yeah, basically the whole ability is that the Beyblade... Let me show you. Let me with another Beyblade. A Beyblade goes. The Beyblade kind of chomps it like that, and that's it. And it kind of, like, repels it, I guess. I I don't know. The ability's, like... Honestly, Vice Leopard, in my opinion, is just a letdown. It has a really cool design, but the uh, Beyblade itself doesn't really perform that well. In the anime, he was kind of disappointing. I'm sorry for anyone who's, like, really big Vice Leopard fans, and I'm, like, destroying your favorite Beyblade, but in my opinion, I don't really like this Beyblade that much. Also, what are these things in the middle of it? Like, are those eyes? I thought these were the eyes. What are these things? It's just, it's just a really weird designed Beyblade, and I'm not the hugest fan of it, although it does come with the Destroy Driver, and that's really cool. Also, an ability it has for uh, the disc and frame. Uh, it's the first frame to do this, and basically it's reversible. So you can have one mode this way, and the other mode the other way. Now, I'm not really sure what both modes do. It seems like when the mode's this way, the uh, frame is a bit like wider than the other way, but like I'm not really sure how that's gonna affect in battle. All right, moving on to the next slot. In the next slot, we have Archer, Hercules. Now this Beyblade's ability isn't really that cool in my opinion, but it is very practical. Its ability is basically when you launch the Beyblade, the outer part right here, the metal part, will go outwards, and this is supposed to give the Beyblade more stamina, which it actually does, because the metal part is the heaviest part of the layer, and when it goes out like that, that kind of makes the Beyblade more, I would say, balanced and give it a lot more stamina. And Archer Hercules overall is a really solid Beyblade. It is a really good Beyblade, just because the placement of the metal. The fact that the metal and the heaviest parts are on the outer side of the Beyblade, the Beyblade has really good teeth, and it's a really good shape. It's it's a really solid Beyblade, and the ability is really solid as well. Alright, so moving on to the driver and the disc abilities. The driver and the disc abilities, there's not really any abilities on it. I mean, I guess the driver's free spinning, and it has palm plastic. That's basically all I can say about the eternal driver. Okay, next on this list, we have... Uh, H-E double hockey stick salamander, aka hell salamander. I know I just said the H word, I'm sorry, but it's, it's the, is that really a bad word? I don't, I don't think that's a bad word. Maybe it's a bad word. If it's a bad word, I apologize. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll wash my mouth with soap after this video. So yeah, salamander is next on this list. And I was kind of, mmm, I didn't know which one to rank higher on this list, salamander, archer, hercules. But I decided salamander's ability is kind of cooler. This is the first ability with a mode change. All the the other ba uh, Beyblades before didn't have a mode change. If I mean, I guess you could count like the frames as mode changes. Like you can mode change these frames. But like besides that, the layer, layer wise, this is the first Beyblade with a mode change. And basically, the mode changes. Uh, you can go to the back of Salamander, click this thing right here, and move the blades back and forth. So if you move it this way, it makes the Beyblade more round. And this is the defense mode. If you move it this way, it makes the Beyblade a bit more jaggy with the metal coming in more contact. 
I guess, are having like fewer spikes, making it attack mode. And honestly, in practicality, it's actually really good because if you want to burst the other Beyblade, you go this mode, but if you just want stamina, you go the other mode. Or maybe I'm getting that confused, I I'm not really sure. Anyway, moving on to the driver and uh, the disc abilities. The disc doesn't really have any abilities at all. It actually doesn't even have a frame. As I Actually, it does have an ability. The 12 disc ability is that it breaks Beyblades because it's so sharp. Like, look how sharp these things are. The 12 is disc is actually probably the worst disc in my opinion. Just because it's like super light and it breaks Beyblades. It's horrible. Anyway, uh, as for the driver ability, the driver is actually really cool. Probably one of my favorite uh, Chosy drivers to be released. Basically, what it is, is you can move the driver from attack and defense mode right there. In defense mode, it just operates as a normal ball driver. But if you change it to attack mode, it is amazing. It jumps around like Capricorn and Metal Fight. They're like, jump on the other Beyblades. Is it good? It's the driver's really bad on attack mode, but is it cool? It is very cool. I really like using Salamander on attack mode. It's really cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, moving on to the next Beyblade on this list, we have. Buster Excalibur, uh, debatably the ugliest Excalibur to be released. I think it's the ugliest Excalibur, but like honestly, if you're comparing this Excalibur to the other Excaliburs, it's not really fair because for the most part, Excaliburs are gorgeous. So being the ug ugliest Excalibur isn't that much of an insult because all the other Excaliburs are like really amazing. Anyway, let's talk about this Beyblade's ability. Basically, what this Beyblade's ability is is it's able to extend the sword out. So this is its normal mode, and when you click the back back of it right here there's like a little slot as you can see right there if you click the back of it you can use the driver to like kind of click the back of it and that locks it in so yeah basically all you have to do is you go here you click it with uh did i say the driver you click it with the disc and you're able to unlock this new mode and this new mode basically just extends the sword outwards and it has two modes just like salamander you have the extended mode of course and the not extended mode now i i don't know why you would ever not want to use the extended mode this extended mode is really cool but yeah honestly it's not that great of an ability but it is it is you have to admit it is a pretty cool ability having the sword extend outwards giving more impact to the sword and getting more burst. So that's really cool. Anyway, moving on to the driver and disc ability. Actually, the, this frame, the dagger frame, didn't even release on the stock combo of Buster Excalibur. You had to buy it separately, which is really lame because in the anime, the owner uses it. But like in real life, they're like, no, we don't want to give it to you in the starter. We're going to have to make you buy this whole new set if you want some anime accurate parts. And it's it's like grr. It's very, it's very grr. Anyway, uh, as for the the driver. The driver doesn't really have an ability either. Okay, next on this list, we are going to have, this is actually one of my favorite Beyblades in Chosy, and I feel like the gimmick is just so cool and so creative. All the gimmicks from this point on are either like super practical, or I just think they're like super creative and super cool. Okay, so the next Beyblade on this list is going to be Hazard Curvius. Now, if you're wondering why I love Hazard Curvius so much, just look at this Beyblade. It's just so pretty. I love it so much, and like, the fact that they made Curvius back to a defense type is just so cool, and I definitely think it's, uh, the best design Curvius out of all the Curviuses. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Anyway, maybe I'm a bit biased, but yes, I do like this Beyblade a lot, and I do think its ability is really good. Its ability is basically the opposite of Archer Hercules. You know how Archer Hercules, when you launch it, um parts go outwards, giving it more stamina. Curvius, actually, parts go inwards when hit by other Beyblades, so it's going to absorb attack. So it has two chains on the outer parts. If a Beyblade comes in for attack, it's going to absorb it. So it's basically, so it's, yeah, again, it's the opposite of Archer Hercules, except just defense mode. And I just think this ability is really practical. It's really cool. Just like, um, Maybe in actuality, it isn't that good, but just, like, thinking about it, it's just so cool. It's such an amazing ability. Like, why didn't they do this before? It's so cool. Anyway, so, yeah, it absorbs attack, and it's... It's amazing. All right, moving on to the driver and the disc ability. The driver, Atomic, you've seen this before. Uh, the only ability it has is that it's free spinning. And as for the disc, it's colored unlike the other ones. Like, it's really cool. I really like colored discs. But seven, nothing really that special. Moving on to the next Beyblade on this list, we have Geist. Fafner, and oh my goodness, Geist Fafner's ability is amazing. You know how much I said I love Hazard Curvius' ability? This ability is 
definitely better in my opinion. Let me just explain Ghost Fafnir's ability real quick. Basically, uh, Ghost Fafnir's ability is, of course, it has rubber Fs on the layer, and look at those Fs. They look so great, and it's able to steal spin from Beyblades, and just, that's this that's the same ability as uh, Drain Fafnir had in the God series, except when they made Drain Fafnir into a Chozy Beyblade, guess what they did? They added an extra ability. Basically, it's newer ability, because it does have somewhat two abilities, the rubber Fs and this other ability. Uh, its newer ability is that it has dragons on it, and the dragon's uh, mouths actually move. And what happens is when the dragon spins at high velocities, the dragon's jaws will close, and that'll make the plastic come into more contact, giving it more smash attacks. But once the Beyblade kind of slows down, doesn't spin as fast, the dragon's jaws will open up, and that'll reveal the rubber Fs more, allowing the Beyblade to spin, uh, spin steel more at lower velocities, and then once it gets to higher velocities after spin stealing, the, dragon the dragon's mouse will close back in, allowing it to get more smash attacks. It's just genius. It's amazing. It works really well for guys Fafnir. It's just so cool. The ability is amazing. Anyway, moving on to the parts. As for the parts, the parts don't really have that cool of abilities. I mean, you have the 8 dash disc, which is kind of lame. Actually, surprisingly, guys, the 8 dash disc <laughs> weighs less than the 8 disc, which is really disappointing. As for the absorb driver, I mean, the absorb driver is really cool in concept, but in actuality, it is not that great. It's like a free spinning revolve mixed with a uh, nothing driver, and that might sound cool, but it's 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 horrible. It's like one of the worst stamina type drivers. All right, so next on this list, we are, of course are going to have Duo Eclipse, aka or not Duo Eclipse. I think it's called Right Left Eclipse. Anyway, so basically, what Right Left Eclipse is, it has the same ability as Duo Eclipse. Basically, what you can do is you have a layer. You have two layers actually, and you can split them apart and attach them to each other. And it's very customized. Well, it's really cool. You get some really cool smash attacks, and it's just like Duo Eclipse in the God series, except of course they have metal, and they added a second ability to Left Right Eclipse. And that being, it being able to spin left and right as the name might suggest. And how you do that is you basically have a uh, right core layer part and you have a left core layer part. You just put that in the middle and you're able to switch directions. And that's just really cool. The fact that you're able to customize the layers and customize uh, the spin direction is just amazing. Customizability, whatever the word is. I really hope that the new GT series, I mean, how cool would it be if like the new GT series was like Duo Eclipse series where like every Beyblade you can like take apart, you can customize, you can customize if it's left or right spin. It's really cool. Anyway, so so yeah, just the fact that it's um that it can be left and right spin and you can customize it. It's just an amazing ability, really creative. And as for the disc and driver, of course this Beyblade only released as a layer and that one Mugen set, I forget, no, it wasn't even the Mugen set, it was called the Muso set. Where did they come up with these names? I don't know. So yeah, it only released in uh, as a layer in the Muso set, so I don't really have uh, any discs and drivers to review. So yeah, overall, it's a really cool Beyblade. The gimmick is really cool, how you can like uh, customize the layers, and the fact that you can change spin directions is really amazing. The only sad part is that the Beyblade is not really that good. It has like really cool gimmicks, but it's horrible competitive-wise. It's like really unbalanced, and it doesn't have that much stamina, and it's not that great. All right, moving on to the next Beyblade on this list. We are going to have our first Chozy prefix Beyblade, and that being Chozy Valkyrie. Now, you guys know the Chozy prefix Beyblades. Basically, what happens is when you launch this type of Beyblade, it has kind of wings on on the Beyblade, and when you launch it hard enough, the wings will extend out just like that, and it'll make the Beyblade unburstable. Now think about that. That is super overpowered. The fact that, I mean, like, it's not as creative as some of the other abilities. Like, I would definitely say Geist Fafner's ability is much more creative than unburstable, but when you think about unburstable, that is just, like, super overpowered and a super practical ability, and it's really cool how it works in the anime, and I like how it's just not, like, the Beyblade's unburstable. You have to actually have skill to make it unburstable, and it is somewhat hard to make these Beyblades unburstable. So yeah, the gimmick is that it makes it unburstable, and it's really cool, and when you launch a Beyblade and you get the wings out, it's like really satisfying. It's really amazing. I really like the gimmick, and it's very practical, and that's why it's going to be so high on this list. 
All right, moving on to the next Beyblade on this list, we are going to have another Beyblade with a Chosy prefix, and that being Chosy Achilles. Now, just like Chosy Valkyrie, it does have the unburstable gimmick with wings on the side that if you launch it hard enough, the wings will extend outwards, making the Beyblade unburstable. As you can see, there's a bit, there's a little burst stopper there. So when the Beyblade just about to burst, uh, the uh, burst stopper will not allow it to burst. And although it has the same exact ability as Chosy Valkyrie, it also has a second ability. That ability being, although kind of lame, it does have an ability. Uh, that ability being it has kind of these blue things right here, and I'm not really sure what they do, but I'm pretty sure they're just like Archer Hercules, where they extend outwards when you launch the Beyblade, and it's supposed to give it more stamina. Actually, no, this ability is actually kind of cool. So it's like a mixture of Archer Hercules and, um and uh, Hazard Kirby. So basically what happens is when you launch it, these things come out, and, they, and then when Beyblades come in to attack it, it kind of absorbs attack. So it's like a kind of smaller version of Archer Hercules and Hazard Kirby's ability combined. It's really cool, and plus that mixed with uh, the unburstable ability, it's, it's an amazing ability. Anyway, moving on to uh, the disc and driver. As for the disc, it doesn't really have any ability at all, although Double O is a really heavy disc, probably the heaviest disc I think to be released. As for the Dimension Driver, the Dimension Driver's ability is really cool. It's basically like a super customizable trans driver. It's like trans, except you can like choose the height of it. And it, it's, uh, you can have like some really cool combos with it. Although it's not very practical, it's not very great. It is a very cool driver to play with. Alright, moving on to the next slot. This is actually, that was the third best Beyblade, uh, Chosy ability in my opinion. The second best Chosy Beyblade, or Chosy ability in my opinion, is going to have to be... Chosy Spriggan. Now, of course, just like the other two Beyblades, unburstable, burst stoppers makes a Beyblade unburstable, but unlike the other two Beyblades, it has the ability of being dual rotation, and that is just, that is super overpowered. The fact that you can go left to right and you can be unburstable, and because you're left right, you can also steal spin. So you have steal spin, left right, unburstable. This Beyblade's abilities are amazing. It is a really good Beyblade ability wise. As for uh, its parts, the wall drive or the wall frame is just not that good mixed with the Zeta Dash driver. The Zeta Dash driver, as you guys probably know, the Zeta changed modes. It was really cool with uh, Sprig and Rec Room, but it's kind of lame at this point. Like everyone knows it. So as for the parts, I won't say they're that cool but as for the layer the layers ability is amazing just think about that that is so overpowered it's like they took the two most overpowered abilities and just gave it to this Beyblade it's unburstable and dual rotation that is insane all right so in the number one slot the Beyblade I think has the coolest gimmick or ability and all of the Chosy layers is going to have to be the Phoenix Beyblades. Now let me just explain uh, Revive Phoenix and Dead Phoenix's ability. What happens is it has two bursts. One burst being when the outer ring comes off and the second burst of course being when the Beyblade bursts itself. Now this Beyblade, it is just so cool. I feel like the uh, ability is really creative and really awesome. It's actually super practical because when the Beyblade, when the opposing Beyblade goes in for the burst and like bursts off the outer ring, that actually causes the opposing Beyblade to lose a lot of stamina. And on top of that, you can actually customize uh, the outer ring. So you have an outer ring for Dead Hades, and you have an outer ring for Revive Phoenix. And when you customize the rings, you're able to create the heaviest layer in all of Beyblade Burst, at least up to date, uh, from when Revive Phoenix was first released or when this video came out. This is the heaviest layer you can make, and this is called Perfect Phoenix. So the fact that you can customize layers just like Right Left Eclipse, and you have a super creative ability where the outer ring kind of falls off, giving it a double burst, it's gonna it's definitely gonna have to take the number one slot super creative super practical super great all right so before I end this video I just want to do a quick recap on all the rankings in tied for last place we have six Beyblades a six ways high those being Emperor Fornius winning Valkyrie Z Achilles dead Hades uh, 
whatchamacallit, uh, Shadow Amaterios and Bloody Longness, and the reason these guys are in last place is because, of course, their only ability is that they have metal on them. Uh, next, in 14th place, we have Air Knight with the ability, I guess, being bigger than most Beyblades and also having a fan-like design. In 13th place, we have Orb Aegis with the ability of having metal balls on the layer that are kind of free-spinning but are basically a knockoff version of the Zeus line. The Zeus had, like, the Zeus's abilities were so much better with the metal balls. Why couldn't you imagine if this could be uh, a Chosy version of Zeus? That'd be so much cooler. As much as I like Orb Ages, I would definitely prefer a Chosy version of Zeus much more. Chosy, oh my goodness, the whole thing about Zeus was that it had metal balls, and the thing about Chosy is they had the, the metal gimmick, so why didn't they? It was perfect to take care of Tomy. Why didn't you just make a Chosy version of Zeus? It would have been great, but you gave us this thing instead. It's horrible. Or, I mean, I, I like Orb Aegis. I actually really like Orb Aegis. I'm just saying the uh, ability is horrible. Alright, enough going on a tangent. Uh, next up we have, in 12th place, is going to be Crash Ragnarok with the Metal Wing ability. 11th place, of course, Vice Leopard with the Bite Chomp ability thing. Chomp Chomp, Piranha Planet, Smash Bros. Making Smash Bros. references. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, in 10th place, we have Archer Hercules with, I'm not really sure what to name this ability, kind of the extending metal ability, like when you pull back the bow, you know. Alright, moving on to the next one. In 9th place, we have uh, H -E Double Hoxic Salamander with the mode change ability. 8th place, we're going to have Buster Excalibur with the extend sword ability. 7th place, Hazard Kerbius with the Absorb Chain ability, which is really cool. It's like so fitting for Hazard Kerbius. I love this ability. It's so great. Uh, in 6th place, we have Geist Fafner with the Dragon Jaw ability and the Rubber F ability. Uh, in 5th place, we are going to have... Do, uh, left, right, Eclipse with the uh, customizable ability where you can change the layers and the ability to switch from left to right, which is so- Actually, I probably should have ranked this thing higher up on this list. When I think- when I think about it in retrospect, it is such a cool ability, so diverse, it probably should have at least been in, um, it should, probably should have been like the top three. I'm not sure. Maybe- actually, the fact that it's not unburstable makes it kind of like lower, because the unburstable gimmick's like really cool. Okay, anyway, in the number four slot, we have Winning Valkyrie with the Unburstable gimmick. Number three slot, Chosy Achilles with the Unburstable gimmick and this other weird gimmick down here. Not really sure what to name that. And the number two slot, we have Chosy Spurgeon with the Unburstable gimmick and the Dual Rotation gimmick. So great. And finally, in the number one slot, we have the Phoenix Beyblades with the uh, Double Burst gimmick. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this ranking and you guys want to see more rankings in the future. I might do more rankings in the future, or I might just do some more reviews. I don't know. I'll do whatever I want. Anyway, so I'm sorry for taking a little break. I just needed a little break from YouTube just to kind of... I don't know, do, do work on school and work on stuff I was busy on. Now I'm not as busy, so I probably should be uploading more often. So yeah, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Have a nice day. Left first out.